Good morning, new 1%. You already know the drill. 10K is the goal. I got my hot tea and honey. Locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get right into the show, guys. Yesterday, we burned about 4.7 million Vito, but today we are on fire. Burning like some hot pepper sauce. We're burning about 10.5 million Vito today, guys. Absolutely insane burn day. The main net is firing on all cylinders. And as long as this number keeps creeping up ever so slightly, we should be a okay. And with the release of VChain 2.0 proof of authority, we should see many, 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 many more Vitos being burnt. Move it on. Taking a look at the price today, guys, we are up. We are up pretty good today, looking at uh, about 9% on the day, guys. And we're trying to get back to that six cent mark. There's no reason why I don't think we can get there. Um, you know, there's good news coming out with VeChain signing the world's leading aluminum supplier to track and trace their products. And uh, we have VeChain, again, we have uh, Proof of Authority 2.0 coming out here shortly. So there's really no reason for the dip other than the natural movements of the market. So, you know, we're not really concerned about that. All we need to do is just remain patient and uh, keep on stacking VeChain and chilling. That's not financial advice. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. Moving on. Big news, guys. We have the wonderful Eisenreich here. VeChain mentioned in another, another research paper, this time mentioned with the big boys. We have Bayer AG. This is a subsidiary of Bayer, a Bayer uh, sister company of some kind. We have Bayer provides another use case for the pharmaceutical industry. At the end of 2020, Bayer announced a working announced working on a new blockchain based traceability platform for the delivery of drugs. The pharmaceutical giant selected the company VeChain, a branch of Bayer, as a tech provider for the new blockchain power solution that will allow clinical drugs along the entire supply chain to allow to track clinical drugs across the entire supply chain. The system known as C-Secure loads onto a blockchain a batch number that is assigned to a specific drug. The number is then used to track the drug as it moves through the supply chain, registering timestamps and user identification information at various route points. Due to the immutable nature of the blockchain, the data cannot be changed or manipulated by any third party. C-Secure is based on Toolchain, a proprietary blockchain as a service system that allows VeChain to design develop blockchain powered solutions to client specific requirements further information about c-secure can unfortunately not be disclosed as vchain is bound by a non-disclosure agreement need i say more guys this is amazing tracking drugs throughout the entire supply chain uh, we're going to get to a story here in a couple of minutes why that is extremely important and we need more adoption on this front alone moving on We have an amazing f thread by VChainW here. Please give him a follow and give Eisenreich a follow as well. Two amazing members of the community. You don't want to miss their updates. Now, we have the VChain super thread. This is more for the noobs. I understand that many lack time to read all the VChain articles, so I reduced the text by 90% in this thread of screenshots. Reading is the bare minimum to be able to connect the dots. Save the link and read on your own time. I have retweeted this. And liked it. So if you uh, and I can leave it in the description below if you want to check it out. But here's all the news you need to know about VeChain, guys, in a small, relatively small thread. Now, these are just headlines. It would behoove you to look further into these. Uh, they he has done well to post articles. Um, but again, do your own research. That's what is important, okay? Don't just listen to people on YouTube and random people on Twitter um, for your investment advice. So we can see here, AWS services enable one-click VThor deployment for blockchain enterprises. We've got uh, digital carbon ecosystem from VChain. Uh, what do we have? What else we have here? Just so much news. And this is a great thread, guys. Bite-sized pieces all in one spot. 
so that you can uh, quickly read it. We have the model of VChain 2.0 Surface. That's going to be amazing. Uh, amongst other things, this is an amazing thread. Don't don't pass this by, guys. This is this is uh, good stuff here. Uh, we have the <laughs> announcement of Walmart of China here. <laughs> that was an amazing one there. Um, the sole uh, VeChain becomes the sole public blockchain of the APAC Providence Council. Let's go! Like this is amazing. Please take a look at it. Follow this man VeChain W. You will get good information. Moving on. All right, so we have South Africa and China sees fake Rona vaccines. There's a lot of fake Rona vaccines out there, guys. There's a lot of things that need to be track and trace. Not everything, you know, counterfeiting is dangerous, okay? Counterfeiting is dangerous, and it devalues the uh, value of things. You know, when if you got fake Gucci bags, fake Ferragamo belts out there, that devalues the whole ecosystem of the gucci and the and the uh, ferragamo belt and there could even be more sinister consequences like the whole china baby formula counterfeiting thing like a couple of babies died because they they forged and counterfeited baby formula bro like what why would you do that that's ridiculous so and this is even worse, fake coronavirus vaccines. I mean, like, there's already a huge distrust of vaccines out there. And this is just causing more FUD. This is just causing more distrust and more disinformation when it comes to vaccines. So we need a reliable way to track and trace not only if the vaccine is valid, but what is actually in the vaccine, where was it made from every step from the lab to the human, we need to be able to track all that to restore trust in the scientific community. Now, you know, I've been dragged for my views on the vaccine. Um, but guys, I believe in science. I believe that science is genuinely coming from a good spot. Are there bad actors? Yes. Are there people out there with nefarious, uh, with nefarious intentions absolutely but in as a whole i believe that science is for the betterment of humanity and without certain vaccines you know we would have like polio and measles and mumps and things like that so that's the conversation for a different day the the point is is that you know we need to be able to track and trace these medicines we need to be able to have digital medical records so that since the world is becoming more globalized, you know, we could get medical treatment safely from anywhere across the world. And that's why VeChain is super important. And I believe that, you know, this is a digital revolution that cannot be missed, according to the great Sonny Lou. Moving on. We have VeChain in another research paper, guys. It's just keep on happening. VeChain digital livestock farming. As the global human population increases, livestock agriculture must adapt to improve efficiency while addressing concerns about animal welfare and sustainability, guys. And as we can see here, a couple years ago, VeChain had joined the China Animal Health and Food Safety Alliance, CAFA, as a council member to provide blockchain technology for enterprise members. So we VeChain is, is can, ha, well, number one, it has a lot of uh, use cases, but I like how it pivots. It pivots to environmental sustainability, animal welfare, it pivots to medical records tracking and vaccine tracking, it pivots to tracking and tracing uh, counterfeit handbags to puff bars to anything, guys. IoT, Internet of Things technology, uh, QR coding. This is the future, guys. We are in the digital revolution. Never forget that, guys. Never forget it. And last but not least, all I have to say to this picture is bruh. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. And lastly, I will say, guys, if you think the FUD is bad now, if you think the FUD is unbearable now, wait till we get to 10 cents. 
People are gonna be like, oh, it's stuck at 10 cents. It's a stable coin at 10 cents. Bro, they said it was a stable coin at point one, bro. They said it was a stable coin at point two, point zero two cents. They said it was a stable coin at three cents. They said it's a stable coin at four cents. They said it's a stable coin at five cents. They're gonna say it's a stable coin at six cents. When we get to seven cents, they're gonna say it's a stable coin. When we get to eight cents, they're gonna say it's not going anywhere. When we get to ten cents, they're gonna say it's not going anywhere. When we get to a dollar, the FUD will be unbearable, guys. You think the FUD's bad now when we get to a dollar? There's gonna be a lot of Johnny come latelys with a lot of opinions. Just be warned of that. Thank you to my wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ Burr, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio Lassie Nielsen, American Home Remedies.com, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland for Crypto Boost, Wayne, Fruz Den, Brady Adams, Joel Jimenez, Kyle Bachi, Crypto SVT.SI, Eric Parra, at Dig the Voice for the People, HBDSouthBay.com, Daniel A. Crypto, Kim Trails, and Climax ZH. Thank you. So much for your wonderful Patreon support. I do this show for you. I love you. Thank you for sticking around with me. Taking a look at the Bitcoin block having guys, we have 1158 days and I'm so excited. It's been an amazing couple of years since the having. Well, it's been an amazing year since the having and uh, things are moving. Things are going exactly as planned. We have institutional adoption. There's no reason except for profit taking that the markets are down. But you know what? In order to enjoy the 100x gains, you got to enjoy the sideways, the 50% dips. I know you don't want to hear it, but that's the way it is. ZK Swap is up 50%. Chili's is up 48%. Hedera Ash Graph is up 38%. 30%. The Central Land is pumping pretty nicely as well, 27%. So there are some coins moving, but the majority of the top 10, the top 20 is down. And that's just the way the news goes, guys. I love each and every one of you. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about that. I will come back at you soon with the Cardano updates. Don't let your memes be dreams. I love you. Have a great day.